All right, let's do some theory for fun today. So the problem that I have for you today is we want to make a DFA for A star, B star, C star. And of course, remember that something star is zero or more of that thing. So A star says zero or more A's followed by zero or more B's followed by zero or more C's. So how can we make a DFA for this one? So if you know that this is a regex, you could convert this to an NFA and convert that to a DFA, but let's do this in a direct way. So if we're destined to make a DFA, we always need a start state. I'm gonna call it Q0. And look at this. So this says zero or more A's followed by zero or more B's followed by zero or more C's. Well, if we choose zero for all of them, then we have the empty string. So in the DFA, that corresponds to making the start state an accept state. So now what can we do? Well, let's see. Well, suppose that the string is all A's and that there are no B's or C's in the string. What we can do is we can say, well, maybe we can just lead a bunch of A's and stay in the same state. So if we just have only A's, we stay in this state and we will always accept because if we have no B's and C's, then we get uh, A star, so we will accept all strings with just A's in them. But suppose now, well, suppose that next we have a B. Well, again, well, we can't stay in this state because if I did something like this and I stayed in the same state, well, if I take the B transition, then I'm allowed to take the A transition and so I would have a BA in the string and that's not allowed according to this. So let's go to a different state. So I'm gonna have a state here, Q1, and I can have any number of Bs here. So let's just be allowed to read any number of Bs. And like we did before, we can have any number of Cs after, but Suppose that there is a C, so then let's read the C and go to a state Q2. And we can read any number of Cs there, just like the other cases. But suppose that there are no Bs in the string. So if there are no Bs in the string, then we have As followed by Cs, which is perfectly allowed. So if we have a C from Q0, then we should be able to read as many Cs as we want right after those A's. But here are the other cases. So what could happen? Well, the alphabet here is A, B, C, so the Q0 state has an A, B, and C, so that's fine. The Q1 state has only a B and a C right now, and it's missing an A transition. So it, let's think about what that means. So if Q1 has an A, if we're in Q1 and we're destined to read an A, that means we've read a, at least one B, but then if we read an A, well, this is not allowed by the language that we're destined to make a DFA for. So that means if we read an A at this point, we should not accept. So I'm gonna have a state here called Q dead because it's called a dead state. And once we're there, we should never accept the string, which means here that I'm going to self-loop on all possible inputs. And then let's look at Q2. Well, it has no transitions on A or B. So let's think about what that means. If we are in Q2 and need to read an A, well, we've read at least one C no matter what, which means that if we read an A, we'll have a CA in the string, which is not allowed. So we need to not accept the string at that point either. And same story with A, B. And that's it. So this is a DFA for A star, B star, C star.